Hello, my beautiful Gemini. How are you guys? I hope you guys are all doing well. If you guys are new here, then welcome. And if you've been with me for a while, then welcome back. So we are going to be doing your June monthly reading. It is a general reading, so it's not going to be able to resonate for everyone. So just take what's meant for you and go ahead and leave the rest behind. Everything that you guys need to know about the reading or about scheduling personals, all of that is going to be in the description box below. There is a link to my online metaphysical shop as well as a discount code that is just for you guys in there as well if you want to check it out. So let's pray and get right into it today. Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding for my very beautiful Gemini's for the month of June. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may we please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Gemini's energy in the month of June. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear it. Gemini's energy for the month of June, please. All right, guys. Let's see what's going on. Okie dokie, Gemini's. Let's see. Man. Okay. So, the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Pentacles. Uh, right underneath of that, we do have the Devil. Okay, so... I do feel like... I feel like you guys found some information out. Okay, the Page of Pentacles can be you know, messages, it can be, you know, news coming in, um, and with it being with the devil card, the devil card was like peeking out, um, I usually don't take the one underneath, underneath, but it was really showing itself, I am really feeling like you guys found out, you guys got some kind of message about, <clears throat> about something that your person was doing here, and we have the tower card, we have the high priestess, and we have the seven of wands. So Gemini, I do feel like you guys have either somebody told you something or you read some kind of text. There was something, I do feel a lot of you, it could have come from another person, okay, the information, but you found out about something that your person was doing behind your back. And this is in the recent past here. So we have the tower card. I do feel like, you know, it just, well, it was, the tower is a sudden and abrupt change and it did, it changed everything. Okay. It changed everything for you. Um, the high priestess, yeah, things, you know, that were kept in secret from you. And with the seven of wands, I do feel like you blocked this person out, okay? You blocked this person's energy. So it's coming up because I do feel that right now, um, you know, the betrayal, the level of betrayal and the hurt is really, um, it's making you feel a little bit stuck. It's making you a little bit leery of, moving forward trying again okay that's kind of this energy that i'm feeling and i think something wants to come in for you okay i'm seeing something wanting to come in but gemini i feel like you're blocking it and that's what this big message is from spirit is spirit doesn't want you to block things that are meant for you um out of fear so there's some still things that are need to be healed and dealt with and brought to the light so that you can you know receive what's coming in for you so we do have okay the three of cups the fool in the reverse and the queen of cups in the reverse okay in your current energies i feel like you don't want to offer any love to anybody you have a lot of love to give but you you're not ready to open up to love to express that love you know the queen of cups is very expressive she has so much love she's a very you know very loving person um very affectionate person i feel like this showing up in the reverse with the full card in the reverse you're not wanting to open up to love you're not wanting to you know give that love to anybody you're not wanting to take a chance on it um because of this three of cups because of the you know, pain that you've been through in the past. And the Three of Cups, I do feel like, you know, you found out that this person was either cheating or involved with talking to something with, you know, a, a third party, okay? I do see that here. Um, 
and the, you know the level of cheating is going to be different for everybody um, but I do see it here and I feel like that level of betrayal has really stuck with you it's what's keeping you from fully moving forward and in the immediate future okay we have the queen of swords and I'm feeling very strongly that this is your energy, Gemini, um, this Queen of Swords here. You have the Page of Wands and the Two of Cups. So like I said, there is something new wanting to come in, and it has potential to be really beautiful. Um, but you're kind of very untrusting of it. You're kind of got your guard up a lot, I see, with the Queen of Swords here. So this Page of Wands, um, this is a new beginning. It's going in a new direction, and it's like a very curious energy. I do feel like there's something about this person um, that's coming in for you that interests you okay there is something hold on my kitty's playing with the cord sorry guys and there is something about this person that is i don't say charming magnetic there's something about them that is makes you curious it makes you wonder maybe i could but then the trust comes up okay then you remember what you've been through. You remember everything that you just dealt with. And it's like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. So, and you can see when this hand, she's like welcoming it. She's like got her hand out, but in her other hand, she's got her sword. So there's a part of you that wants to be open to this because there's something about this person that makes you curious, that makes you wonder, that you see a little bit of potential here, okay? Um, and I do feel like you're very attracted to the person. You know, wands are very passionate, attracted, like attractive energy. Um, so with one hand, you're kind of welcoming it in. But with the other hand, you're like, make one wrong move and I'm with my sword. So I do see that too. You have definitely have your guard up. Um, Spirit is telling you, two of cups. This could be a very mutually felt connection. This is, you know, something that's going to be equal. Not one is above the other. They are both the same. Okay, and I do see that here. So I feel like spirit, the whole purpose of this message is yes, to recognize what you've been through with this past person and the betrayal, but also for you to see, you know, what you could be missing out on the future by staying in this distrusting stuck energy. There's something that looks like it has a lot of potential to be really beautiful, um, but spirit maybe wants you to realize how up your guard is or how high your wall is um, because right now I think some of you could be flat out um, I see a little bit of both ends of the spectrum here for some of you you're like I'm absolutely not doing this crap ever again I'm not doing it I don't want it and it's not worth it um, for others of you you're like I'm gonna try you know I want to try but then you know there's a lot of trust issues and you have a wall up you have your guard up so for both you know whatever end of the spectrum that you're on Okay, um, Spirit's saying, you know, you feel that way for a reason. And whatever you guys believe is what you're going to manifest. If you believe that every person you meet is going to hurt you, your beliefs will be reflected back to you. And, you know, the universe is going to give you more evidence to support that. Just manifestation works like this. Every The universe takes everything that we believe and says, you're right, here's, here's evidence of that belief. Okay, so if you think, okay, every every person I meet is going to hurt me or cheat on me. They're all going to be players or whatever. You know, the universe is like, okay, you're right here. Let me show you. So it's really showing you, like, work on your beliefs. Ask yourself, what are my beliefs around love? What are my beliefs surrounding that? What do I need to work on within myself to attract the partner that I want? You know, really being clear about where your energy is. Am I really being stuck? Do I really have these trust issues? You know, really taking a deeper look at oneself so that you can be open and ready for this new love that's coming in for you, Gemini. So let's get some confirmations, clarifications, and advice. Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, can we get some confirmation, clarification, and advice from my beautiful Geminis, please? Can we get some confirmation, clarification, or advice from my beautiful Geminis? What confirmation, clarification, or advice do we have? We have chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. And we have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with one another. So Spirit is saying, you know, you do feel the connection. You do feel that, you know, attraction like we talked about. Uh, it's undeniable. It's there. So just be open. Just be 
honest. Don't be afraid to be vulnerable. And the more that you, you know, really talk and get to know somebody on a deeper level, you know, the more comfortable you will feel. And remember that you don't have to rush anything. You can do it all in your time. You know, I am one of those people that like to move slow. I feel like, you know, things that are made to last take time to build. So don't be afraid of just spending time really getting to know somebody before you jump in. Um, and I feel like that will really ease things for you. But there's some things that still need to be healed. Um, the universe is trying to bring in something really beautiful for you, Gemini, and it wants you to be ready. So I am going to grab your angel cards and see what messages your archangels have for you. Archangels, as you watch over and you guide my beautiful, beautiful Geminis, through the month of June, what messages do you have for them? As you watch over and guide my beautiful Geminis through the month of June, what message do you have for them? Let's see what we got going on. What do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. So this is a card about manifestation, okay? Um, this is asking yourself, what do you really want in a connection? What do I believe about it? Any of that negativity, you know, is not something you want to manifest and it will block the manifestation from coming in. But I do feel like spirit is asking you to look at your beliefs. Spirit is asking you to pay attention and be very aware, okay, conscious of your thoughts and stuff because you guys are manifesting this partner. And I am the angel of marriage and I am assisting you right now. Beautiful. So this could be somebody that you definitely could marry. And maybe that's why spirit is trying to, you know, really push this message about getting, you know, looking at your past and healing your past so you can be ready for your future. Um, because I feel like this could definitely be the person that you're ready to marry. Um, and spirit is, you know, really helping you with this connection. Beautiful. So guys, if this resonates, please let me know in the comments down below. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you guys hit that notification bell, then when our monthlies, mid-monthlies, and weeklies are uploaded, you guys can be notified and you can go check them out. Um, if you guys want personal prayers for any reason at all, um, put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below and I will go through and I will pray for you. And I do ask that if you guys see somebody else with a prayer emoji in the comments, shoot up a prayer for them real quick too and let's just be a really supportive, loving community. So I am sending you guys all kinds of love and light. Until next time.